In this video, we'll be creating the eccentric cam uh, in Autodesk Inventor. To create this cam, we will be using a new pot file. So I'm in a pot file right now to start it up. And first thing we want to do for this particular cam is it's instead of having set diameters, it uses D for a nominal diameter. To do that in Autodesk Inventor, first we want to go to the Manage tab. Uh, then we're going to click on Parameters, and we want to set this parameter. Uh, in this case, I'm going to set it as 2 inches. Uh, we'll be able to change it in the future if you need to change it for your uh, timer box or any other feature. Uh, to just set it, we're just going to hit Add Numeric. We'll type in D for diameter. And then hit Tab, and it pops up the unit type, the equation, the nominal value, and etc. Uh, we want to change the equation. So that we want to set it as 2.0. So we'll change the 1 to a 2. After you do that, you can click Done. And that sets your diameter as your D value as 2. And we can use that in our creation of the object. Now if we look at this eccentric cam, we can see the shape of it is just a simple circle. Uh, it's got a hole inside of it that's 3 16 of an inch. That's located a quarter of the diameter distance below the center of the circle. So we're going to start by creating a sketch on Inventor. So we'll start by going back to 3D model, start a 2D sketch, and we're going to click on the XY plane. Uh, on the XY plane, I'm going to create a circle, the shape of my cam. So I'll start with my circle, and we set our value for D as 2. So I'm going to just type in D, and it's automatically going to, when I want to click Enter, set that as 2. So now we have that value set as D, and next we want to create our hole. So if we look on the object, we have a hole that's 3 16 of an inch, and we'll add that hole in, and then we'll dimension to locate it. So now I'm going to put another circle and locate it. I'm going to put it on the on the x axis here, and I want to make it 3 16 of an inch. So I type in 3 16, and click enter. After doing so, then we have to dimension to make sure it's the right location. So I'm going to click on the center, then I click on the center of my hole, and I set that dimension as it shows on the diagram as 1 slash 4, 1 fourth times, so shift D, shift 8 times D, just type in the D. Click enter, and it automatically does the math, calculates that to be 0.5 for me. Once we've done that, we have our diagram created. You can see we have our circle with the smaller hole in the center. Then we just click in a sketch, extrude the shape out. It tells us each one's 3 16 of an inch, so we click inside the circle and type in 3 slash 16. And that creates our eccentric cam with a 3 16 inch diameter hole on the inside for your eye. Uh, you can see your, paramount, your parameters are set. Say we needed to change this to a 3 inch diameter, all you would have to do is go back to manage parameters. And we could change D to 3, hit enter, and it would change the uh, object. It still looks the same, uh, it's still the same size, it just, it's not the same size, it's still the same shape, and it, it just looks. The hole on the center is still the same size, as it's still going to be inside, has the same size place inside it. I'm going to change it back to 2, hit done, and now you're finished with this cam, you can save it as eccentric cam. So save that as eccentric cam, I go to file, save as, and type in eccentric cam. Now you're done with this eccentric cam, we can move on to one of the other cams.